Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and this video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. I am so excited to finally be bringing the first episode of my Sims 4 Seasons Let's Play to you guys. You have no idea how long I have wanted to say Sims 4 Seasons, and now it's finally here. As I said, this was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. They sent me a code for early access so that I could check out this pack for you guys and I could start my Let's Play and you could see what Seasons was all about a few days before its final release on the 22nd of June. This is actually rolling out at 12 a.m. your local time on the 22nd of June, so definitely keep Keep an eye out for it, especially if you've already pre-ordered it. But we are here on the opening screen that says, Welcome to The Sims 4 Seasons, 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 Seasons. Experience impactful weather. From hot and sunny to blustery and snowy, every world's climate is unique and impacts your Sims choices, relationships, and daily activities. Revel in seasonal activities. Bundle up to build a snow pal with friends. How cute is it that they call them snow pals? The fact that they aren't like gender specific as well. Oh, it's so adorable. And it's so cute for like the kids and the toddlers. Toss on a raincoat to splash in a spring shower. Dress Sims in new swimwear to cool off in the sprinkler. Harvest honey in the fall. Play in leaves or have child Sims make homemade holiday crafts. Celebrate the holidays. Decorate your home and bring Sims together to celebrate a heartfelt tradition. Watch as your Sims count down the calendar days for the next holiday. You can create custom holidays and choose how your Sims celebrate and grow your own gardening career. Create beautiful bouquets and unearth new discoveries in the gardening career. Advance your Sims budding talents to unlock fresh skills, new outfits and handy objects. Okay, so we are going to be exploring that and more in this let's play. I hope you guys are ready for the ride. So I guess it's time we hop in. I introduce you to the family that we are going to be focusing on throughout this let's play and let's just get started. I hope you've all got your shades. I hope you've all got your raincoats. What an odd combination, but who knows? It could happen in The Sims 4 Seasons. Before we hop into our family, we actually have to select a season that we want to play in. Spring is a great time to plant your garden, to take advantage of spring showers, but watch out for those mud puddles. Summer. Temperatures are climbing, so beat the heat with water balloons and sprinklers. Watch out for the thunderstorms. They can be electrifying. Fall. Gather your garden produce to make a harvest fest feast to celebrate with friends and family. Enjoy the changing leaves and leaf piles before things get chilly. And finally, winter. When you're not bundled up indoors, have some fun in the snow or on the ice. Don't forget to decorate for Winterfest and plan your New Year's resolutions. All right, guys, so we are here in the gorgeous Brindleton Bay. I asked you guys actually on my Twitter what world you would like me to start out in for seasons and considering we have Belong there currently going on on my channel which is in San Myshuno and Windenburg I think? Windenburg came second and then loads of you chose Brindleton Bay. So Brindleton Bay was the top choice. I have downloaded this house off the gallery. It looks a little bit different because I have pretty much done the whole of the interior new, but I will leave the house information in the description down below because as you guys know, I always like to give back to the original creator and this house is adorable. You might recognize it if you have watched my most recent current household video. I say recent, it was probably like back in January now, but 
that's my most recent one. Um, so it is the same house as my last current household video, but I have changed the interior an awful lot and it just fits in really nicely to Brindleton Bay. So I'll show you the area first, just to kind of give you a gist of what's going on. As I showed you guys in the screen previous, we did actually start in fall. It is day one of seven of fall. And just to show you guys my options, I do actually have it as a, a long lifespan. I just enjoy doing that. And also now with seasons and the calendar aspect, it also means we can plan when we want such as our toddler to age up, which is really handy. Seven days is our seasons. Obviously, we do have this new option right here. Season length, seven days. Uh, you can change that to 14 days or 28 days. Warning, changing the season length may remove or alter the calendar positions of your holidays and events. So definitely keep that in mind. I think we're going to leave it as seven days. I kind of think like seven days is an average time uh, for The Sims months and I think we can still get a lot done if I decide like halfway through maybe oh I would like to do like more holidays then I may lengthen the calendar but I will let you guys know if I do that. Um, we have it set for rain and thunderstorms you can choose just rain or none that's if you have a lower spec PC and maybe you don't want those options. Enable or disable rain and thunderstorms. It'll take a few moments for your changes to take effect. Or for example, if you're playing in Oasis Springs and you actually don't want any rain, then I guess you can turn that off. And then this is snow options. Enable or disable snow and blizzards. Take a few moments and enable temperature effects on sims. So that's the negative and positive effects, such as freezing to death, I think. I'm fairly sure that that's what that means. I am a complete noob when it comes to seasons, but enough of me chatting. So this is the area we live in. It's kind of like this swampy marshland area of Brindleton Bay. As you guys now know, there is no new world in seasons. This was actually confirmed a while back by some of the gurus, but they decided decided to pump their time into just perfecting seasons overall in all the worlds we already have and not to take that time and spread it out also whilst creating a new world which would have been very dedicated on time. So I guess I should introduce you to our sims. I am actually playing as a bald guy which does not happen very often. I actually don't think it has happened on my channel ever. Uh, but this is Grayson Jax. He is adorable. If you have been watching my live streams on Twitch, you will know this fellow quite well. We made him on live stream. Also, the outfit he is currently wearing is not from Seasons. His shoes are. Uh, but I will, like, obviously, as we go through the seasons, I will change their outfits because... That's what you gotta do in seasons. So I'm not gonna go through like create a sim or anything like that, but this is him. His name is Grayson Jax. He is family oriented, a goofball, and he loves the outdoors. He is also a collector because he has the lifetime aspiration of an angling ace, which he is practically a fisherman like that's what he does for his money he doesn't have much money as of right now so we definitely need to get working on that and then he has a daughter who is Poppy Jax. She is so adorable. He is a single dad to this toddler right here Poppy Jax. Basically, the story behind these two is he's still a very young dad. Like, he's only in his early 20s, so he is a fairly young dad. He had her at, like, 19 years old because I would say she's, like, two-ish now. So he's about 21, 22, and he had Poppy. Her mom actually was in a really dark place at the time, and she knew how much Grayson would take care of Poppy, and she was just in a really dark place. She didn't want to inflict that upon either Grayson or Poppy, so she decided to move away. She is no longer in their lives. Um, she distanced herself a 
an awful lot. So it's really unfortunate. Poor Poppy is left without a mama, but she has her daddy wrapped around her little finger. Let me just tell you, she is a right little daddy's girl. Uh, so this is Poppy and she is actually a clingy toddler. And then we have our one and only large German Shepherd over here. We have Max Jax. He's so cute. I love him so much. So he's basically the guardian of these two. He's just a big dope and we freaking love him. So that's kind of like a little overview of the family for you guys. I know first parts are always super weird. I'm sure you're gonna hear that an awful lot today because so many people have got access to this early through the Game Changer program. So I know that us in our group chat and also Christina tweeted about like how messy first parts can be. So I'm sure you will hear that an awful lot if you are catching up on everyone's seasons uh, videos <laughs> at the moment. I'm just so freaking happy that we finally have seasons. So as I was saying before I got distracted by talking about the family, uh, they have sun and showers. It is also warm right now and today's forecast apparently says mysterious weather. I have no idea what that means, but hey, looks like we're gonna be getting some mysterious weather up in here, whatever that means. Also, to give you guys a quick tour of the house, I guess, it's nothing special. I basically created this in mind with, they don't have a lot of money and basically any money that Grayson does get, he spends it on his daughter. So he really doesn't ever spend it on himself. Uh, very basic like hallway and Grayson's room is over here. It pretty much still looks like a teenager's bedroom. Again, he doesn't really have a lot. He has like a stereo that he brought from his parents' house, a little bowling trophy and also a bed for Max to sleep in. He does have an ensuite though. Uh, basically the walls were already like this when he moved in. He's not really changed it around but yeah, the bathrooms are pretty just how they always have been. This is quite a masculine, masculine house, I guess, with the greys and the blacks. Uh, this is exactly how my dad's house actually used to look. Again, another bathroom. We have a lot of bathrooms for such a tiny family. Then this is like our living area. They don't actually have a TV as of right now. Um, a little dining area with mismatched furniture and everything. He's just, he basically prefers to, ooh, so set thermostat. Ooh, this is cool. This came with season. So I decided to plop it in our house. Should we set it to cooler? I guess it is quite a warm day. So let's set the thermostat to quite cool. Come downstairs and set this little thermostat. Oh, this is so exciting. I genuinely love having seasons in our game. Seeing rain in The Sims 4 is crazy. So there we go. We changed that. Oh, I thought that would give us like a moodlet or something. But as you can see, I'm guessing blue means cooler and awesome. So he set br practically the temperature. This is like his little office space. Then we have the kitchen over here. Outside we just have a woodworking table. He does do like woodwork on the side. We have a little washing line and then upstairs we have the dog's room. I know we have a room dedicated to the dog. He has a big furry rug that he can choose to sleep on. He also has another bed over here. All of his toys and we threw down a washing machine in here too. Then we have Poppy's room which isn't the best room ever but he's trying to he's trying to give her as much as he possibly can. So he actually built this dollhouse for her and he just like tries to treat her whenever he can. And then this is practically like her bathroom. Oh, she's taking herself off to potty right now. <laughs> she's such a little grown up. She says she's clingy, but she is a little independent lady. Like she does have her dad wrapped around her finger, but she can do what she wants. And then also I downloaded a doghouse. This is custom content. 
If Simaguru or Grant is watching this, I'm sorry, Grant. I'm sorry that I downloaded a doghouse, but I just think it suits seasons. Um, I kind of like the idea of having a doghouse in seasons. So yeah, that's basically the house and the family. Also, Jackson's parents are actually in the world as well. They're not in Brindleton Bay. These guys actually live over in Willow Creek. His mom is really into gardening. His dad is now retired. Um, he was in the business career, but he's now retired and he's just like, grandma and grandpa, I freaking love them. We will be probably seeing them a lot throughout this Let's Play when we are celebrating like holidays where we want to get the family together and things like that. So you will get to see them throughout the Let's Play, but I'm not going to be focusing on them. Oh, I come upstairs and he's currently playing with her. This is so freaking cute. My babies. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's very hot. It's sunny right now. You know what that means? I think that means I want to buy a paddling pool. Should we try and do it? Let me see how much the paddling pools cost for the toddlers. So if we go down here, if we go to seasons, uh, we can get a water balloon bucket, but I don't think toddlers can take part in water balloon fights. So let's not do that as of right now. Uh, where's the little kiddie pools? I guess they'll be in like outdoor furniture. So let me go to... Let me head down here to ac outdoor activities. Okay, here are the kiddie pools. So this one is 120 simoleons. Damn, we can't get the awesome one because it costs like 400. So I guess we'll get her like a little kiddie pool. Um, I think we'll go for, that one has like koi fish in it, like a proper pool, or you can just get like the plain ones. I used to have like a plain blue one as a kid. This has like Finding Nemo on. Okay, we're getting this one because it has like Nemo and Dory. Oh, yay! And we also obviously have a pool for him as well. I don't know why we can place that in the bottom of the pool, but that's not going to happen. All right, let's grab the paddling pool out and place this down in the back garden. It's hot, so we may as well enjoy the sunshine. Can we change her outfit? I don't think we can. I think we just have to click on her to change her outfit. So let's change outfit, and then we are going to go for... A little swimming costume, which did come with seasons. We do now have a swimwear section, a swimwear tab in Create a Sim for little toddlers. So she's going to get changed. Oh, there we go. That's so cute. I love these little swimming costumes. She has another little one as well. Let me see if I can find her other one. She has like a wetsuit and also like a rainbow one. We're actually going to put her in a wetsuit because it is super warm and I do want to keep her protected from the sun. I know we can't get suntans or anything, unfortunately, in The Sims 4 Seasons. And I did actually have to uninstall my sunburn mod because I knew it was probably going to break with the introduction of Seasons. So I currently don't have it in my game right now. I probably will add it back in, but I don't know how it's going to work with Seasons. We'll just have to wait and see until the mod is updated. It might not have even broke, but I just decided to take it out just in case. So let's go place Poppy in the kiddie pool and then we should probably fix up. Oh, you just stood on Max's head. Max just decides to like sleep. See this though? That's how dedicated he is. He comes in and like sleeps exactly where they are, just in front of the doorway so they can never leave him. She's in her little wetsuit. She looks so giddy to be in daddy's arms going in her kiddie pool. So there we go. We're gonna put her down in there. Oh my god goodness. Grayson is a goofball. Goofballs are often playful. So because he's like playing with her in the paddling pool, is this not the cutest little thing you ever did see? Look at her. She's having such a good time with her daddy. <gasps> Memories. Oh. They're playing in the paddling pool together. My heart cannot take this. She's like copying him, like splashing around in the water. Is this not adorable? 
My little heart is already so freaking happy that we now have this in our game. Splashy fun from watching a toddler in the kiddie pool. Getting splashed in a s is a small price to pay for bringing joy to a tiny person. Oh, and he like sits by her the whole time. Like even though he needs to eat and he's also like super needs the toilet. He's just, oh, we got a little bit of a glitch going on there. <laughs> there are a couple of glitches after this patch. I will warn you guys. I'm sure you've probably seen them. My build mode especially is suffering right now. It is super laggy when I am trying to place like flooring or wallpapers, unfortunately. I wonder what skill this is. Oh, is this parenting? Yeah, so his parenting is going up as he's like looking after her in the pool. That's so cute that it has that effect. We might actually get him changed. He actually has some outfits for hot weather as well. As we did start in autumn, I chose like a lot of his everyday looks to be quite like cozy and he like wears hoodies an awful lot. He's just like a really young dad. So he's nothing special in the fashion aspect, but he's just everything you imagine like a young dad in autumn time. But it is actually quite warm today, which is throwing me off a little bit. So he has like his warm outfit selection and then he has like his cooler outfit selections as well for when it gets snowy or like super stormy and quite horrendous. Isn't this Let's Play just perfect for someone who lives in the UK? I mean, you guys know, if you're a fan of my channel and you've been here for a while, you will know how much I genuinely just like to talk about the weather. It's just a very English thing to do. So this Let's Play is full on like perfect. <gasps> it's changed to cool. Okay, we should get her out of the kiddie pool. It is cool right now. So let's get her out. Let's get her dried off and let's get her changed as well. All right, there we go. She's out of the pool, but everyone is super hungry. So let's go, uh, let's serve some dinner. We're just gonna go for some grilled cheese. Let's go nice and easy with some grilled cheese. Oh, she's so hungry. I am so sorry, Poppy. We've had an afternoon of fun though, right? Nope, that face tells me differently. That face tells me that she has not had an afternoon of fun. She just wants her food right now. What it's like to be a responsible single parent. Just have fun in the sun all day. Who cares if your child needs to eat? Why are you getting so close? Why are you up in this grilled cheese face? Like, don't get up in the cheese's grills, okay? Calm down. You need to wait for it to be cooked first. You aren't feeding your child. Oh, it just changed. It got super windy and it is cool weather. So I guess we should kind of turn this off. We don't want it being too cold in the house. So let's turn off the thermostat. I swear having seasons in my game, are the leaves falling? Oh my God, do you guys see this? Like, look, the leaves are falling down and they're all browning. I forgot we were in autumn for a second. Ew, and there's feathers and stuff on the floor. Why are cats so gross? Oh my goodness, this is a wild apple tree. Brindleton looks so cute. Obviously, this is like all flowers. We may have to change this tree because I kind of want to turn it into like just a tree that may brown and stuff. Um, but right now it's just like all blossom. What are you doing? Talking to her? Why don't you come and grab a plate? Go grab a plate. Right, stop playing. You need to go grab a serving of grilled cheese, please. So I might change this, but do you guys see the leaves coming down? <gasps> Leaf piles are gonna start collecting soon. Oh my god, I have so many feels about seasons. But I swear it has like made my hay fever 10 times worse because I'm reminded that now seasons are a thing and it's making my brain think that the pollen is more around me because I have a super itchy nose in this first part. It's only gonna get worse towards summertime in The Sims 4. Uh, can you come sit on the sofa? Because she's probably gonna come sit down here as well. 
So once she grabs her grilled cheese, you guys can just eat on the sofa. I mean, we currently don't even have a TV and this little paddling pool costs like a lot of simoleons. So we are broke AF right now, which leads me on to my point of, I want you guys to decide what he is gonna do as a career. Obviously there is the new gardening career. However, it is not an active career. <gasps> he wants to rake leaves. Find leaves on your Sims lot and click on them to select rake leaves. Oh my God, guys, there's leaves. Rake leaves. <gasps> We're gonna do that in the next part. Next part, clickbait already titled raking leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get the views in, I am sure. Oh, I love doing chores in The Sims 4. But yeah, I want you guys to decide what he should be in. I was originally... Did you not even grab? Are you serious? Get leftovers. She didn't even grab anything. Go treat yourself. Right, come over here, grab a serving. So we can put him into the gardening career. So let me click find a job real quickly. Or I was originally thinking of having him as a food critic, which came with city living, but it is one of those kind of half active careers, half not. So he can go into work if he's feeling like going into work, or he could just take the day as like an active career and we can also continue to look after our child. So I was thinking either critic for a um, food critic, not an arts critic, but a food critic. So he can kind of like stay at home and look after Poppy if he wants to, or we can go into a full-time career as a gardener, but that's I don't really like doing that in Let's Plays because then it means he just goes off to work for like half the day, almost a full day. Like he's gonna be working from eight till three. So he's only gonna have a few hours in the evening to look after Poppy. Uh, you've always had a green thumb, but now you think you can earn some green with it. You'll start by doing a lot of planting and gardening, but keep at it and you can find success in the science or art in doing so. And the career branches are botanist and floral design. I am actually thinking of adding in a love interest for him. I know, spoiler alert, but you guys probably knew it was going to happen. I'm not going to tell you anything about his lover lover, um, but I was thinking of having them as a gardener so we can kind of explore that later on in the Let's Play. I kind of just want to focus on like him and Poppy and also like beekeeping. I do want him to start having some bees as well so you guys should let me know um on a career for him or if you just want him to like fish in his spare time and then just sell the fish uh he is gonna do some gardening but not as a profession unless you guys want him to be in the gardening profession but definitely let me know and that is where i'm gonna round off this part of seasons thank you all so much for tuning in to the very first part of my let's play i hope you all enjoyed it the second part will actually be up today it will be up in a couple of hours time so definitely keep an eye out for that and again one big thank you to EA for sending me this code early so that I can get this video up for you guys remember seasons rolls out starting at 12 a.m your local time on the 22nd of June so once 12 a.m hits on the 22nd hopefully you will be able to purchase seasons in your local area off origin Thank you guys so much for watching and definitely tune in for the next episode of my seasons. Let's play. Bye guys.